this, I look cool. Did you get that on record? I did. I'll it's hold this so I look cool. Yeah. Oh, hi guys! I've just come from Asda. I just got me some spaces. Come have a look. I think I was lying to you. Asda was selling spaces for like 20 quid. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> so, I got these spaces for a friend from Instagram. He's got an A35 and he was getting rid of his spaces, 12 millimeter spaces all around. So, I took that off him and I think he bought these from CKS Performance. Um, I was planning to buy a brand new one, but it just so happened that he was selling his spaces. So, yeah, I bought it off him. So we've got full spaces, front and back, 12 millimeter, and also the full nuts and locking bolts. So it was a no-brainer. Took that all off him. I think I spent about 100 pounds, 120 pounds. So it was a pretty good bargain. But because it's a nice day today, that's what we're, that's what we are going to be doing, fitting the spaces to the car today. But before we put that in, we're just going to give this a nice, quick clean uh, before we put that on and then put some anti-seize on it. So yeah. and the bolts are now all clean so we are gonna go and jack the car up and then we'll put these on this bad boys on All the bolts are off. There you are. Take the wheels off and then put the spaces on. So guys, this is very, very important. Make sure they have protections on. You don't just want to be dipping your finger in there without protections because it's gonna get very dirty. So I've only got one I've only got one right hand glove playing Michael Jackson. <laughs> but yeah, I've only got this one glove, so what I'm gonna do now is I will just put grease on all of the spaces because I'll need to take this off and obviously take the wheels off. So we'll do that now. It's like a mousse, a hair mousse. So I'll put that like so. Just clean that up. Now we'll also put that on the inside. Do not want that on your hand because it's very dirty. So this also helps with um, prevent rusting. As you can see, it's very dirty. So we can now put it on the car. Get 
get rid of this because this is dirty. Get rid of this too. Let's just go in there. Like a glove. So that is literally it, it just slots on. Just make sure that you've got your holes lined up, obviously. Can I just say, by the way, before you buy spacers, make sure it's the right one for the car. Because if you've got five holes in there and you buy spacers that's got four holes, it's not going to fit, is it? So yeah, make sure you've got the right spacers. Slots on, make sure it's in the right holes, and then pop the wheel on and then put your nuts on. Plan B, it's a bit tight, so we'll just give it a quick nudge, make sure everything's aligned, give everything a quick nudge, that's it. I mean it's probably tight for a reason, so all around, so I'll just put a little towel the hammer make sure it's nice and tight so that's it back on we go Can you see, can you see the, how wide that is, mm, how thick that is, it's so nice. So we've done one side, now we'll go and do the other side. not a lot but gosh the amount of difference that it makes to the car it just makes it so nice it looks so much beast here i know there's a bit of a gap at the moment because we've just raced the car so the spring is just trying to get used to you know the floor again but yeah it looks so much better like the stands it's much beast here it looks good a tiny little difference i mean not a lot of people are going to notice it but i will so it looks good but yeah i'm happy with that so a quick sort of hour one hour mod so pretty good yeah i like it quite nice what do you think so comment down below what do you think should i have gone wider you know 15 millimeters i mean three millimeters i don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference but it looks so much nicer i'm i'm happy with it yeah very nice thank you for watching